Hey everybody, Chuck here, PowerAxe.com. See these little flash lights right here? They're neat, they're handy, and they're cheap. And you push it once, you got the front light here. Push it again, it goes off. Then you got that little light here. Handy as they can be. Plus, they are the best thing about them, they got the little magnet back here on the back. Handy as they can be to put like a put on your drive shaft while you're working underneath your vehicle or uh, on the bottom of the tub of the Jeep. Like I slung a drive shaft on my Jeep not too long ago. I stuck it at the bottom of the tub and just kind of hold it in place while I was bolting, put the bolts back in, stuff like that. It worked out real well. Problem of it is, this magnet is very weak. I know for a fact these things will fall off and they will crack you right between the eyes. I know this for a fact. Several times has it happened. So, here's a solution to that little issue. As, mu as much as I like them, it's gone. Enter this. Okay, so what? It doesn't have anything on the back of it. No magnets, no nothing. That's a bright little booger, see? But, we're going to uh, fix the magnet issue. Anybody know what that is? It's a hard drive out of a computer. In one of my other videos, I showed you how to take the hard drive apart to get the magnets out of it. So this here, if I can pick it up, is a magnet out of a hard drive. Super strong. They'll easily hold a pound, pound and a half. And best of all, if you've got your computer worked on, had a new hard drive replaced, it's free. So we're going to put this to the back of this. These little pads right here, they're meant to you peel them off and stick them to your cabinets or wherever you want to stick them to. I picked these up at Kmart, which is kind of across the street from the college I work at. They can pay like eight bucks for two of them in a pack. Uh, okay, here's the package. You know, if you guys want to ID them or whatever. I know it's upside down to your camera view, but sorry, but I kind of do this weird. But anyway, back to the story. So basically what I'm going to do is stick the magnet there. That's all it boils down to. These little pads right here, you can leave them. Peel these right here off and stick some paper or cloth or something like that to them to help you know, the sticky residue don't make a big mess. And if you like, you can take like even a Permatex uh, cover over that hole right there, stick your piece of paper over to seal them off. In case you had to work out in the rain or something, you get water inside there, it'll totally you know, kill the light. So we're going to scratch this up a little bit right here. Now there's several different ways. You can probably use JB Weld if you wanted to. Uh, I use occasionally, which I use JB Weld quite a bit. And what anybody who works on cars who doesn't, but here's what I'm going to Stuff right here called E6000. It's a craft glue. Seriously strong stuff. See? So we're going to Squeeze out a big blob of it here. Stuff is like crazy thick. And you really don't want this snotty stuff on your hands. You know, put you out a blob. And we'll smear some on the back of the magnet. Like I said, stuff's thick, so I'm going to have to really squeeze it to make it come out. Make sure the magnet's getting covered. Got plenty of glue. Stuff right here is pretty strong, so you ain't got to worry about that, about it coming off. Let me turn it around like this. Put it like that. And if you want, you can. This right here slides right off. See, it takes three AAA batteries. Take this over, you can mash it down on really good. So you get a good solid bond. And basically just let it sit and do its thing. Put this back together for you real quick. 
And now, I promise you, I work on computers for a living, so I deal with these hard drives. You know, whenever I tear a computer apart, and I steal the hard drives out of them. I mean, you see how much little contact area that screwdriver is right there. Now, if you go flat, look. That's not going to fall off the drive shaft or off the bottom of the tub and smack it between the, light, between the eyes. On um, the video where I took a hard drive apart to get the magnet out of it, I held up another hard drive, which is a terabyte drive, which is a very heavy drive. I weighed it on my scales, like a pound and a half. This little bit of magnet right here held. So this thing right here don't weigh what? I got my little scales right here. It weighs about, with that magnet attached, three ounces or so. So that's a pound and a half magnet holding up a total of about three ounces worth of light. You know it's not going to fall off. So stick it under your dash for a little dash light. Stick it to your roll bar if you've got a like, if you got your padding off, if you got your padding on, take you a couple of hose clamps, wrap around your roll bar and stick it, and uh, wrap it like a metal strap up there, or an old junky wrench. Stick it to the back of an old junky wrench, and I'll wrap it around your roll bar. Or stick it on your dash. Anywhere there's metal, make a spot. It don't matter. But there you go. Nifty little craft. To save yourself some time under the hood. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave comments, questions, and join, subscribe to my videos. Thank you for your time. Thank you for checking out the videos. Y'all have a great day. Peace out. Alright, I've got the lights of my Jeep. It took me a couple days to get them out of here for some reason. I've got one of them stuck up here. i got it turned on right now. See, all i got to do is push it. I know i got a lot of glare on the camera. You push it like that and it just kind of turns off. Push again, turn it on. And since the magnet is on back of them, see, it's that bar right there on my, the crossbar right there on my soft top is where I had that stuck at. And a bit of magnets. Stick it right back, turn it on, we're good to go. See the other one stuck down here next to my gauges at the moment. See, I got a fast Jeep, I got racing stripes on my shifter. Ha <laughs> ha! So we take that off and it's shining around here, shining around there. And just imagine, you know, if you if you're on the trail someplace, you can tell how clean the floor is. On the trail someplace, and you got parts breakage, you need light, stick it to the bottom of your tub. Stick it to your dry shaft, stick it anywhere, stick it on the frame. You'll, you'll have light wherever you need it. With these super strong magnets right here which come out of uh, old computer hard drives. These things hold about two pounds a piece, roughly. A pound and a half to two pounds a piece. And this whole thing right here, as you see in the video, weighs about three ounces. So you know it's not gonna fall down and crack it between the eyes. Much like these little lights. I mean, they work somewhat, but they got any crud behind the magnets, they fall. These, not so much. So anyway, I just want to come out here and do a little demo for you. Put these right back up here, and it'll pinch that crap out of you too if you ain't careful. So, anyway, I just want to come out here and demo my lights for you. Y'all have a great day. Or actually, right now for me, it's a great night. I just got home from work. Anyway, peace out. See y'all. Have a good one. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave questions, comments. Be happy to get back to you and answer you as soon as I can. Alright, everybody, have a great night. See y'all.